Princess Smetra. Hail, Princess Smetra. My powers in the government now revert to you. I am here to carry out all your commands. The people will expect their princess to address them as soon as possible, declaring her will. With your permission, I will appoint Captain Waldo of the Peace Guards to see that all your highness needs are met as soon as you begin your reign. It's fine with me. The change was like a whirlwind, like night becoming day. We had been captives, but now they treated us like kings. They took us to the royal rooms of the palace a place they called the Imperial Zahn. Finally, we were left alone together. I still can't believe that that girl was actually an American. What I want to know is how could there be a Kennedy half dollar 200 years old? There could be a difference in time between the two worlds. Yeah, like a century is going by here, and 10 years are happening on Earth. Well, it could be more of a difference than that. We may bounce around in time more than once. The dimensions could be like wheels that are spinning at different rates when they touch. Great. So all my friends are graduating and I'll be 80 years old. They'll have to wheel me down the aisle. Or maybe we'll get back a thousand years in the future or something. I mean, who knows? Relax. The most important thing is that we find out all we can about this world. What we have to do is find out what's behind that door in the Hall of Memories. I think we'll find a lot of answers there. They want me to rule this place. I don't know what to do. I mean, where do I go to learn that? There's an old saying. Knowledge speaks and wisdom listens. To be a good princess, you've got to do a lot of listening. Well, princess, you have heard both sides of the question. Should Metroplex increase production of particle beam weapons and other security devices or not? What is your will? I'm afraid I still don't understand that much about it. Ah. Then it is customary for the prime manager no, to make... No, wait a minute. I want to know what everybody thinks. Now, all those in favor of increasing production, raise your hands. Go ahead. And those opposed? Well, that settles it. We won't do it. Majority rules. Next order of business, please. He has an illegal, carnivorous flying bird that swooped down on my prize hog and ate his head. I desire restitution. Princess, he's lying. He has a multitude of fat concubines. They eat incessantly. They're the ones who consumed his sow and arranged to have the blame put on me. I owe him nothing. He's the one who owes me. He attempted to, to, to kill my bird. You are aware that uh, flesh-eating animals are illegal in this province? Except, of course, uh, for human beings. I won... He eats only worms and would certainly not devour a pig head. Princess, if I may, I have proof of my case. I have film of the entire saddening incident. <laughs> you are lucky you are not a micro-worker. Oh, you would not have been granted a hearing at all. I still don't understand what she's done wrong. Religious material, apart from that of the Church of Artificial Intelligence, is strictly forbidden. She must be put to death. What are you talking about? How can you just murder someone who's done nothing to harm anyone? It is the law. However, if it is the princess's will, 
the law may be changed? That is my will. Pagan worshippers cannot be tolerated. It is they who pose the greatest threat to our society. It is they who incited the rebellion to destroy our illusionary idol. We are not the same. We are peaceful. Be silent, or I will have you killed right now. I am so sorry. The idol is yours, princess. Perhaps you would care to see the crumbled pieces someday in the royal treasury. I have heard that when you were here before, it inspired visions in your mind when you touched the stone. Is that true? Prime manager, that is something for only the princess to know. Princess, we begin your tour of Metroplex with the Royal Treasury. In this room is stored the shattered remains of the illusionary idol. Who does this all belong to? White to you. It is beautiful here. My Imperial defenders are impressive, aren't they, Captain? We have impressive men in the peace cards, too, Prime Manager. What is the point of this? Our little princess is charming. I hear she wants to visit the micro-workers. Is this true? Yes. Baldor, if the production quotas of Metroplex are disrupted for any reason at all, Imar will snatch away our independence in a moment. There is much unrest in the micro-sectors. You have nothing to fear, Prime Manager. Her visit will be brief, and we are proficient at hiding ugliness. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. Tomorrow they will stop production unit one. You have your orders. Yes, Prime Manager. The wave games and gratification intensifiers manufactured here are distributed throughout the provinces. The business of pleasure is most important to Ima. <laughs> Princess? making some very powerful enemies, Princess. That doesn't change anything. Take me to the Collective. You should have told us about the Princess's visit, Captain. We would have been better prepared. This is horrible. What is this thing that they're under? A vibratory behavior modification module. It keeps the mental environment pure. They look like they're dead. We prefer the term placidly cooperative. They're not terminated until age 45. How can you do this? These are... They're human beings. They're little children. Princess, I don't think you understand. These are micro-workers. They have no souls. Who told you that? I want this thing off. All of them, everywhere. And I never want it turned on again. That is my command.